Hello paper crafters, welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I want to show you how to make these really cute tiny purse note cards. We're going to use the lovely labels Pick a Punch, new from Stampin' Up! So here's everything that you're going to need. You're going to start with your note card and you are going to put it onto your Stamparatus. And I've already picked a word from the uh, Lovely You stamp set and it's just the Wildly Grateful. You're going to ink it up with your Versamark and stamp it down in place and then you're going to sprinkle that with gold embossing powder. And we're using gold because we're going to match it with the Gilded Gems. Pick up a little paintbrush that you might have and um, Brush off any of the stray little bits of embossing powder that are there and then give it a shot with your heat tool. And you uh, want to make sure that you only hold it long enough so that you're going to get a really shiny impression. Now we're going to take our piece of uh, designer paper and we're going to put it right against the edge of our lovely labels and we're going to center it. And this one is three quarters by four inches. I made it long so that I could cut it off afterwards without having to worry about getting it into the punch. Now fold down the top that is scalloped and then fold up the bottom that is flat so that it is underneath the scalloped top. And I found that I didn't need to score, I was just able to uh, firm it up with my hands. So just make sure that's a square little package and then take just a tiny little dot of your uh, liquid glue and just hold that down until it's set in place. And now we're going to start with everything else while that is setting up. For my card I'm going to use the Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder, new from Stampin' Up! and my Just Jade piece of paper is going to go in. Then once I have it embossed, I'm going to punch out a two inch circle from the bottom. I made a big piece so that I can use it for more of these cute little note cards. Then take the largest circle from the Tasteful Labels dies and on a piece of Whisper White, just cut that out. So now we have lots of our pieces done. We have our purse and we're going to start putting together. You're going to glue down with your Stampin' Seal your embossed uh, just Jade Circle. You're going to place your Whisper White Circle right on top of that centered and then we're going to make our purse. So we already have our little clutch so take your um, tear and tape and put that onto the back across the back. Then you're going to take off the backing and if you find that it's difficult to take off with your fingers just pull in your take your pick tool and take the pointy end underneath and that should lift it off. If you have any sticky part just fold it over into the back so it's all in the back. Now take your gold trim from the Forever Greenery set and you just need a little piece and I find it works best if I leave it on the roll and you're going to place one end over the right side of the tear and tape and the other end create a loop and then go over the left side. Take another piece of your tear and tape and just place it right over top so it covers both edges. And then just take your paper snips and cut off the uh, gold trim. And it doesn't matter what it looks like down here because this is going to be covered up and so we are going to take off our tear and tape backing on this one and then we are going to uh, put on a Stampin' Dimensional so that it's a little bit popped up on the card. I want to let you in on a little tiny secret. So make sure as you're making this um, and you're going to see in just a second why that you have the, the purse going the right way. Because look, I've made it so that my purse top is in the wrong spot. So do that double check on that before you are uh, putting on your gold trim. And so I'm pretty quickly going through the steps again just so that you can see that this time I did manage to make it the right way. So here I am just putting on my dimensional and I'm going to take that off and put it on my card. And then we only have one final step left and that's to take a gilded gem and either the small or the medium seem to work well and put that right in the center where the scallop is. So it's a really quick card even if you make it going the wrong way. So I want to show you some of the other cards I made. I made them in all the new in colors from Stampin' Up! All of the supplies I used I've listed in the description for you and head on over to my website at www.designwithjoe.ca and watch some of my blogs. I've got great ideas and tips for you over there. 
And if you haven't yet joined my email list, I would love to have you sign up. I send weekly emails full of tips, different videos, and exclusive ideas. You can join in at www.designwithjoe.ca slash join Joe's email. Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day. Bye-bye.